Urban planning to me is taking the physical world around you and just looking at it as if it were an onion and peeling it all back and seeing all the different component parts that make up the world that you traverse through every day. So whether it be infrastructure, roadways, buildings, the built physical landscape that you live in, but then also the other things that support it. So looking at water systems, looking at transportation, and there's so many different facets of how urban planning works. Growing up, I thought urban planning was something that people did that were, you know, technocrats, and they say, okay, this should go here and that should go here. Going through this program, what I found is that real, true planning comes from the community. And in order to do it better, we need to really break it open, turn it on its head, bring more youthful vibrancy to it, and bring in the voices of the people that are living in these places. I've worked on a project called New Jersey Map, we wanted to be able to provide data and information to people to make better decision making for their towns. And how do we know where the threatened and endangered species are? Where are the stream corridors? How do we protect the wetlands? How do we not allow development in areas where development shouldn't occur? And we thought, well, we can catalog all this data, make it publicly accessible, and make it so that people can use it, everyday people. And that's been going for 11 years now and still going strong. I hope that I can be part of the next wave of people that are bringing youth and vibrancy to the urban planning field. It's cool to see Rowan plant its flag in this field because we need more urban planners, we need more young people realizing that you know they can do something about the urban and physical landscape around them and they can make a difference.